philosophy. My fighting philosophy, uh, I grew up in an abusive family. My dad was a stone out and always, and he would beat <clears throat> me and my mother to a bulk. And I wasn't allowed to cry. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. So I grew up with that, with this with the thought in my mind that no man is ever going to beat me like my father beat me and my mother. So, the folk, when you're in combat, you can almost see, my thought was, if you stare the guy straight in the eyes and look into his soul, you can feel his soul. If he looks away, he wants nothing to do with you. That's what you pray. Otherwise, you have to go to work. And if that doesn't drop him, you're going to have to go to work. You don't know who he is or what he is or what's he going to bring back. I mean, there was dudes that were way bigger than me. And I knew that I had to get this dude the first time. And if he didn't go the first time, we had to go to work on him. But I told myself that no man is ever going to beat me like my father beat me. And if he did, shame on him. But, you know, it, it's, I never went after anybody, never attacked anybody, never beat anybody down that didn't deserve it, that didn't cross the line. Um, DA called me up one day and said, I want you to come to my office, and he showed me a file, yay high, with my name on it. He goes, this is you. This is how many people are trying to sue you for knocking them out. But it's all mutual combat. They don't have a leg to stand on in court. So... And, you know, like I said, I never went after anybody to hurt them. It was all, they throw first, get out of the way, step aside. And if you have to go that far, then you have you better do it right. Because then it's, it's on after that, you know. Um, I grew up in Santa Barbara all my life. <clears throat> I was in lowrider clubs and gangs. And, uh, and I knew. I knew how to fight. I knew how to protect myself. I went to the Army for a while, learned a little judo, learned how to box in the service. So it was just, it was something that I knew that I had to keep with me. That's that.